Welcome to the Mill Spouse Coffee House Podcast. Your podcast baristas Leslie and Brittany have a latte on their minds. My kid gets in the dishwasher, that's the first thing she grabs is the knife to like use all the help. All the help. Am I the only one that's weirded out by that situation? <laughs> yes. Yeah. I, I'm not going to ask. You don't have to get dressed. You can do online hungover, y'all. That's true. Yeah. That's funny. Here are your hosts, Leslie and Brittany. Welcome to Mill Spouse Coffee House. Hello, Podcast. everybody. We are. <laughs> it's the weekend. So we usually don't record on weekends, so we're getting crazy. Oh, yes, yes, it is a crazy day, guys. Welcome to the podcast. We are so excited that you've joined us yet again for another episode. And before we get started, I just wanted to make sure that we share with you um, some exciting news. And Very just, exciting. Yeah, just wanted to say that we are not affiliated with this at all, but we are helping to spread the word. So um, JS Casting, is who is responsible for casting Food Network's Beat Bobby Flay and Food Network star, is now casting couples for a brand new military relationship docuseries. So it's set to air on a leading cable network. This show is looking to feature couples in long distance military relationships. So if you want to share your story, if this is you and you want to share your story, you need to go to www.jscasting.com to apply. And it's important to note that all appearances in uniform or during duty hours will be cleared and coordinated in accordance with DOD instruction (laughs) 5410.16, DOD assistance to non-government entertainment oriented media productions. All service members appearing in the production will adhere to the standards of conduct. I don't even know how to pronounce this word, but we're just going to go with it. Um, delineated? Delineated. There we I, go. That sounds great. In, in the current joint ethics regulation. So there we go. Basically legal stuff, guys. It's legal stuff. All they have the to abide by it. We have to abide by it. So, Those are your disclaimers. So there you go. <laughs> and I will copy and paste that and put that in the notes <laughs> so that we great. can make sure you know exactly what I said. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, basically when people are on in uniform on TV, they cannot be the exact uniform. There has to be like some differentiation. And I think that's all that that means. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. When you watch mil- like, um, um, like TV shows or yeah. movies and you look at like their rank or something, it's never exactly correct because they can't put that on screen. Oh, interesting. Fun fact. Or so my husband says. Let's go with that. Okay. But yeah, they, I don't think it can be exactly the same. Well, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, because they don't want people like imposters and all that stuff. Yeah. Very cool. Well, if that is you, go and apply. Um, and it's yeah. jscasting.com. That would be so exciting, guys. Like, So there you go. Get on TV. Get on TV. Give us a shout out. Yes, there you go. <laughs> no, it's fine. You don't have to give us a shout out. No. But yeah, I mean, I feel like there there are some listeners that be really, really um, down with that. Mm-hmm. So if you are interested, do it. Do it. All right. Yeah. And I think that's it. Oh, you know what? I do want to mention the Independent Wellness Summit real quick before we jump oh, into yeah. our topic today because they do it every year and we participate in it every year. And it used to be called the Military Spouse Wellness Summit and they changed it because they, they opened it up to first responder families and um, I, I, the military and first responder families, I think is mm-hmm. who it's been opened up to. And so they now have changed the name to the Independent Wellness Summit. Right. And this is it, really cool. It is really cool. It's free. There's generally admission that's free f-r-e-e free <laughs> yes, and that one right and so and then there's also a paid version as well where you get you get some um you get entered into some give, giveaways there's a little bit more in-depth discussion you get some some swag items as well um and access i believe to all of the content for like a year or maybe for mm-hmm. forever or something like that so there are some perks to the the purchase piece of it um, but if you want to register you need to go to the website, which I'm going to have to just post in the um, um, notes, notes because, yeah, I, I think it's in independent.com. But if you use the all access discount ticket code MILSOCOFFEE20, um, you will get a discount 
on your code on your um, admission so okay. yeah so mm. uh, it looks like you get a pretty hefty discount and then it changes after a specific date so Milso Coffee 20, M I L S O C O F F E E 20, and um, independent, I N dash D E P N D E N T dot org, I believe is the website. I'm checking it real quick. It is. Yeah, check it because earlier you said dot com. It is. Dot org. It, it's in dash dependent dot org. You can go there and you can register for the Wellness Summit. Again, general admission is completely free. And then if do you it. want to do the all access pass, then there is, a, there is a small fee, but it's really minimal, especially when you use our coupon code. So Yeah. And it's really, y'all, it's, it's great. It's kind of like a get your life together. Yeah, it Love is. It. <laughs> it's a really great, lots of great resources, lots of great network, lots of just, just, it just makes you feel good and, you know, mm -hmm. connect with other like-minded folks. So yeah. Wonderful program. It really is. So all right. Okay. Well, that's, wow. we've done that. So sorry guys, it's a lot of stuff we had to tell you. And if we don't tell you at the beginning, we will forget. Yes. So we just got to get it knocked out. <laughs> oh. So anyway, um, today's topic is I've got friends of all ages kind of going along with the, I got friends of all ages. There you go. Yes. Yeah, that was great. Yes. Instead of <laughs> <laughs> instead of uh what is it i got friends low, low places. places yes hello Brittany. <clears throat> i know i it, it, you know i need more coffee clearly i actually do too i we yeah, have ran out of time i didn't get any because i i was on time today guys yeah because well, i didn't get my second cup of coffee well you can get one after this yeah i know if we're a four ooh, how in the world what am i trying to say like i for for forego? you know how when you say forego but like Forgo does not think. Forgo forgot. No, it's not forgot. For went. <laughs> for went. For went. My <laughs> second cup of coffee. See, here's the problem right now. Forgoed. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how you say that. I don't know either. So you did not have that second cup of coffee because did you did not want to be late. So there right. we go. But we were, th I was thinking about this topic because um, I just, I, I walk with a group three mornings a week and I'm like the youngest of the group by like 10 years and you are frozen right now. So <laughs> I hope everybody can hear me. Can you hear me? There Ooh, you are. It's mine. It's my internet. It says your internet connection is unstable. Uh Oh, Uh Oh, okay. Well, I can hear you now. Okay. Um, you said you thought about this talk because, Oh, Yes, because I walk with a group three mornings a week, and I am the youngest of the group, um, like, by about 10 years, I would say, is kind of the age difference, at least, mm -hmm. and then there are some folks who are, like, 20 years older than I am and whatever, but I just, I really have gotten to the point where I really value their friendship, and, you know, for a while, I, you get kind of stuck into, well, I want somebody to hang out with that's my age, and I right. feel like we get, we kind of are along, you know, we get like that. But I've noticed over the years that I, especially since I've been a military spouse, a lot of my friends have been at least 10 years older than I am. Mm -hmm. Yep. I'm in that boat. I've got some older friends too. Uh, well, I think even I with have. us, the age difference with yeah. us, I think is eight, eight or 10 years, I believe. True that. True that. So, that true. Um, you know, I, mean, I, I think, think it's so common for us too, because, you know, the, the way that the mill like the rank structure doesn't go by age necessarily, yeah. you know? So that happens a lot. There's people who are, or like, um, in my case, y'all are a Marine Corps. Or so I, I mean, wives who's Marine is like, I don't know, like our age, but the rank is completely different. Yeah. Like no. And it doesn't, like you said, it doesn't, or like I said, not you, I said, this <laughs> doesn't go by age. <laughs> Well, no, it doesn't. And then also too, <laughs> I feel like when you're, when you're like in high school or when you're in college or even in elementary and middle school, you're with those friends because you're in the same grade or you're in right. the same class, you know, in college or whatever that, whatever, whatever that looks like. And then, and then as you get older, you have different experiences that maybe you, you meet friends in your daughter's preschool class and, you know, you're, 27 and your daughter's friend's mom is 
37, right? 40, 41. You know what I mean? So then you have that, your similarities change mm -hmm. as it's not no longer like we're in the same grade. It's we're in the same life place. Yeah, exactly. Life, life place. You guys know uh, what I mean. Chapter. Chapter. There you go. That's better than Let's life place. <laughs> so, place in life. <laughs> place in life. There we go. But even still, like with my walking group, for example, I'm not in the same chapter as these ladies that I'm walking with because the only similarity that we have is that we wanted to walk in the mornings and somebody put out like a thing on next door and was like, who wants to walk three miles every morning? Nice. And, and so I guess maybe the chapter that we're in together is that we want to exercise more. Right. And be healthy. Yeah. yeah. I'm looking for some of that. Maybe I should put a thing out. Cause yeah. I just moved recently. And so I'm trying to get in, get into having uh, socialization. I tell you, here. I tell you what next door, um, there's a lot of drama on next door, but that's yep. how I found this group is this lady posted something was like, Hey, who wants to walk in, in the mornings, you know? And so there were eight of us, I think that showed up nice. and um, yeah. And it's just great to talk to everybody in the morning. And it's just, you know, I've gotten really close with some of these ladies to the point where, they're like crying, you know, over certain life events in the morning because they feel like so comfortable and wow, it's, it's that's just, nice. yeah. So, you know, and you learn from them because you learn from their, their experiences they've already had. Yeah. I that they've already love experienced. Having older friends. Yeah. So yeah. I highly recommend it. If you guys haven't experienced that, then I definitely recommend, which you probably have being a military spouse, I would imagine. Mm -hmm. I know it's so, it's just like a different, I think that we are more exposed to it than like the general population because the general population kind of stays with that whole, your college, when you get out of college, you get the job and you're like around people that are yeah. kind of the same age. But since we move around so much, we don't get to stay there. Um, and yeah, we just are surrounded by, in general, people of different ages. Yeah. yeah. And I think it's cool. I think it's cool too. I'll tell you the friends that I have, that are younger than me too have taught me a lot about, I don't know, just like how to be hip. <laughs> so just kidding. <laughs> Pop, <if it's> a, <laughs> I just, I don't know, just like, I, I, yeah, I guess maybe all what the cool kids are doing or what the youngsters right. are doing, or I don't know. Makes me feel like I, I kind of know what's going on, I suppose. Yeah. I don't know. Keeps you, keeps you young. Keeps me young. Yeah. I don't know. I don't, well, no, that's not true. I do have some that are, that are younger, not like significantly younger, but definitely but, younger. But then I have, it's weird. Cause then I have younger friends who are like a lot younger than I am. And they have kids that are older than, you know, older than my daughter. Oh, right. Yes. And yes. so I'm like, she's way more experienced at being a mom than I am. You know, mm -hmm. that's so weird, but, yeah, but then they can tell you all the things. Yeah. About that. Oh, about them kids. I just, I guess the point is, is that you can learn from no matter how old you are and now no matter how old your friends are, old and young and same age, I think you can learn a lot from them. Yeah, I mean, you can learn you, and you should, you should not discount people because of their age Yeah. or, I mean, their circumstances, I can go on and on about that, which I won't, but um, yeah, I mean, the people around you should be impacting your life in some way, shape or form. And if they're not, you should probably cut them out. Yep. I mean, that's if, or if they're like super negative, but it doesn't matter like how young or old don't discount somebody because they're a lot younger because they can bring a lot to the table too. Yeah. And, and I think, yeah. I think you're a lot of people do that is they discount uh, yeah. people because they're younger and they assume mm -hmm. that they don't have a lot of life experience because th and that was kind of happening, happening to me in my walking group. Cause I look really young. Okay. And so they, they originally thought that I was like, 25 and so when I nice. told, when I I know when wow. I told them well because I go in the mornings my hair is up and I'm wearing a hat and like I'm wearing like yoga pants you know what I mean like I'm not like anyway Listen, I will take 25 all day <laughs> but when I told them that I'm I'll be 38 this year <laughs> they were like floored they couldn't believe it because they go we just thought you were really wise like a young <laughs> person who was really really wise and then I thought and I'm like well why couldn't I have been a young person that you know was yeah. really wise like why were you so surprised I don't know I just kind of was made me think about it for a minute like I guess right. I could have been yeah but I, but I took offense to it a little bit I was 
I in, can in see a way, that. Mm -hmm. in a way, I took offense to it. Well, because they said, "Oh, well, we thought you were wise," and now they're like, "Now that I know how old you are, then you're average." <laughs> like, <laughs> it's pretty much what they said. I'm like, "Please tell me I'm wise, because I am." <laughs> right? I mean, I know they didn't mean it like that, but no, that's I how know. it came out. I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, never mind. We're taking the wise card back. <laughs> never mind. Now you're just normal, average intelligence. <laughs> <laughs> oh shoot that's really funny yeah so that's kind of what made me think about all of that is just this, the cool things that I'm learning just from being with them on a regular basis has been really neat so yeah I love it I love it I need to get some friends of all ages yeah get some friends of all ages oh, you know yeah. I mean you can like and you can I feel like you can design your circle and then every aspect of life like you get the older person you get the mom that's got a lot of kids or that's yeah like where you want to be at you get the person with the income goal that you want to be at or the job that you want which is for me going to likely be older than me um and well, then that's like a the younger great aspect, idea yeah, you can you're designing your life guys design it the way that you want it that's design a great idea mm -hmm. design even, your circle yeah Ooh, that could be the sub subtitle i'm writing it down <laughs> Um, y'all, if you've been listening to us for a while, then you probably know that we just record and most of the time our titles come about as we talk. We are not, um, pre-planners for this and that's, we just wing it just because that's how our life goes. Military life in general, y'all, we're winging a lot, we're winging a lot of stuff. <laughs> just wing Almost it. everything. Just wing it. That is our motto. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, I mean, if you think about it that way, you can really just pick and choose like everything that you want to learn about anything that you, any, any, um, subject you want to grow on, pick the person that is your ideal, like that you would want to be yeah. and just in that aspect. Like there's probably not a person that you love every single little thing about, because I don't know if that's possible, but, um, but if they, you know, have that that lifestyle that you want, or they're doing that job, they're making that money, they're doing the exercise that you want, whatever it is. Yeah, that's Find a great that idea. Yeah. You know, and we were talking about that with our, um, our resolution or our goals, our new year's goals episode, mm -hmm. the hashtag mill spouse goals, Ooh, yeah. um, about your friends really do make a, d a difference and make an impact in your life. So, um, I see a trend with friends, mm -hmm. this is the second right? episode that we've talked about with friends, but, um, that really helps you as a person grow, you know, the people you hang out with really, really is extremely impactful and important. It really is. Even if you like, don't think it is, it, it is like, yeah, I, yeah, I, I've made, that's kind of like my thing is to really pay attention to who I'm hanging out with. And the reasons why I'm hanging out with them. You yeah. Know what I mean, like, you know, your family, you kind of just are with or whatever. But when you start to really think about it, it's like, are these, you know, obviously, like, you've got your sisters and your brothers and your mom and whoever that you always hang around with who may not always be the most best influence on right. what you're trying to do. Because a lot of time, you guys, your family is going to be the people who are pushing the most resistance just because right. they've known you your whole life. If you're trying to do something new, they're like, oh, you're not like that. What? Why are you trying to do that? Yeah. It's just kind of a thing. I don't think it's very rarely is malicious. It's just facts. So you got to kind of get out. Find the other people. Yeah, I love doing that. doing your thing. Mm -hmm. That's so true. It's so true. <clears throat> yes, ma'am. And talking to those people who have been there, you know, who have done it or are doing it. Mm -hmm. will help you get to where you want to be too. Yeah. I know like my past few years of entrepreneurship is just constant. Like I can't do it. I can't do it. Cause everybody shows their highlight reel, right? Yes. Nobody shows you their struggles. Overnight yes. successes, 99.9% .9 of the time are really not overnight successes. No. There's so many years of failure and struggles and BS that they had to do. It's just, all you see is the, you know, the success, the great time stuff, that thing, that thing that finally clicked and here they are, but you don't well, see anything else. And, and you know, really easy to get caught up in that. It really is. And you know, that's actually a great, um, I didn't mean to like jump in there. Like I j talk over you, but okay. I, w <laughs> I wanted to mention that it's that, um, Esther, who was 
with the 90 day VA yes. program that virtual assistant internship program that, I mean, she is so successful and she's so incredible and, you know, she shows you every aspect of her life and it, and she is, she sent out an email the other day that has like a background of the different years where she, you know, her income and what she, where she was mm -hmm. and what it was this past year. And just seeing that progression is incredible. Good for and her. yeah. And so, um, and, and, but again, like, she probably didn't have a lot of followers in those beginning years. You know what I mean? And, and yeah. she may have only been showing the, the fancy stuff and the really good stuff. And, and, um, and so all of a sudden now that she is where she is and she's so incredible, people are, are looking at it, but they, they are probably new followers or new friends or new fans or new students of her program and not really seeing that backstory. So that mm -hmm. backstory is really important to learn from. Yeah. And that, and we have that on that episode, the first, first episode of the season, correct? I think so. Interviewed? Yeah. Yes. Yes. It mm -hmm. is the first episode of this season where she talks about that. So, you know, that's what we're talking about there. And she is the perfect person to learn from. Um, and virtual yeah. assistant internship is the season three sponsor for Mill Spouse Coffee House. So you really need to sign up for this program. It's 90dayva.com. And I, I think they're opening another session this mm -hmm. month. I think. I believe you're correct. It's, it's soon. I know it's coming up. Yeah. Because the last class just closed. Now, if she it's doesn't... Closing. Yeah, it's closing soon. Now, if there are other programs available, if there aren't, you know, other things that you can do in the meantime, and then when it opens up again, you'll get a notification that it has been open. So she's got some incredible resources um, for all kinds of things. But 90dayva.com is uh, where you need to go to check all that out. And it is working from home and it is working whenever you want. Yeah. And uh, the Facebook group is awesome. We're talking your, like about surrounding yourself with people that are great do it because there are people who have been VAs like they maybe like just got out of that class they just graduated I don't know do they do graduation I don't know <laughs> um but they just left the class so they're just kind of in trying to get those jobs and there's people that have been doing this for years who like have scaled their business to become an agency themselves like you've got all experiences in that Facebook group so if you are interested at in working from home definitely get in there yeah so that like is real work Real work. From Real home. work. And that is prime example of, of friends of all ages and experiences and learning from your friends. So mm -hmm. I think that's super important to do. Yeah. So I do too. Well, that's all the time we up. had for today. Guys. That was a great, like we nailed that ending. Wow. I know. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting yes. pretty good at this. <laughs> Yeah. You know what's really funny though is that I do like I, I can sense when time is up because Brittany keeps the timer. Yeah. I don't. Brittany has a timer to keep us on track. Otherwise, it would get real. Just listen to season one to see how off the rails we get and like how long <laughs> the episodes get. You know, and it's so funny though because like we have grown with all of you listeners as this has um, developed. We started this just kind of like, hey, let's just try it and see what happens. And you know, we always say because of y'all, now we're in season three. Um, we've got some really exciting stuff already getting prepared for season four. Um, yeah, so thank you. But you just have to do it. Talk about winging it, y'all. That's that is life. It's okay. You just have to start. Start where you are. You'll grow. Yep. You can do it. You can do it. So. With that being said, guys, have a great day. Thanks again for listening. And thanks again for always being so awesome. We love so you. Awesome. <laughs> That's from a movie. What Everything is, it? is awesome. It's like it's a 90s oh. movie where she's like, so awesome. It's like Valley Girl Talk. Oh. This maybe? It might be Clueless. Probably Clueless. So. Yeah. Someone out there knows what I'm saying. Probably Clueless. So. <laughs> All right, guys. All right. Bye, y'all. Bye.